Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is how to begin upgrading a triangle chart patterns trading with uh, two simple tricks. Let's get started. Why are you looking for simple tricks that can help you to upgrade your triangle chart pattern trading? If yes, all right, let's get started. Right. So I have here on my chart, okay, you see the pink triangle and also the blue triangle, all right? So now, the first trick, all right, so anytime you see a triangle or you draw a triangle chart pattern on your chart, you want to select, okay, the peak of the triangle, or right, the top of the triangle, this one, the peak, uh, this end here and connect it to the media line of the height of the triangle so this is the height of the triangle you divide that height into two and you pinpoint the midpoint of that height which is here and then you connect it with okay the the the, the peak of uh, the triangle and you draw a line through it infinite line a line that is going into the future very long line all right okay that's the first trick will you promise me that you'll never forget that will you promise me that anytime you draw a triangle you draw the media line and you will remember to draw uh, the media line of the triangle and make it into uh, project it into the future that is all right, again, you see the pink one here. We connect uh, the peak to the midpoint of the high, and we draw a line that is extended. Those lines, don't remove them on your chart. Leave them there. Why? Because it's for future. Sometimes you may see the best trading opportunity or a high probability trading opportunity appearing on or near that media line. And there is one example here uh, for Johnson & Johnson. You can see that that line we draw it somewhere uh, in 2006, all right? So we draw it in 2006. And now, a few years down the line, in 2015, here it comes, my friend. Here it is. <coughs> Heavens are open right here. Price came down one, two, three, with a long tail. Why he got a long tail? I'm asking you a simple question. Why does he got a long tail? That's the correct answer. They were ordered here to buy. That's why. Why they were ordered there to buy? Those who draw this triangle did not forget. And even a trading algorithm, trading software, spotted that the price is retesting that media line. And remember, the intersection between a moving average and a trend line or horizontal key support and resistance level is what? A hot spot trading zone. So you say, George, I never heard about a hot spot trading zone. You are making things up now. Go to stochastic-macd, check out hot spot trading. This is a hot spot trading zone because we have an intersection of the moving at 50 on a monthly chart and that trend line well, when I see that, I smile. You see, this is very interesting. Here again, another horse put on his own. Didn't come there, but we just leave it and acknowledge it. We have 14 crossing that media line. And here we have a trading opportunity. So during that month, as the price, you see the best approach, I'll show you now. Instead of waiting for the currency bar to close, you see here, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming near it. All right, so, all right. As it's approaching it, on that particular day, all right, or... Okay, the last three days when he was in this zone, you want to monitor what's going on on a daily chart. And then look for trading opportunity on a daily chart on or near this level. All right? And then you implement daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame, and then you take it from there. I know, I know, I've said it. I can read your mind. You are looking down. You can see also that the CCIP of 14 was well, well, well oversold negative 200 all right forming a kind of hook here it's a hook cc a hook 
at that point. So there are many indications, doesn't mean that it's a guarantee, but we must use different time frame to the metal to make sure that we get paid that time. And here it is, it went up. Did it go up, yes or no? Yes, it did, yes or no, it did, okay? Now, how about the pink one? The pink one, the price did not touch it so far. It's still there. Just leave it there. You see, it took many years before it touched this one. We may see a few years down the line. Who knows? It may come and touch the pink one, or it may never touch it. But Or it may come back again and touch this one. All right? So you may say, that's the first trick, George. I'm still waiting for the second trick. All right. Be patient, please. Be patient. All right. Be patient. The second trick is this one. So anytime you have a triangle and you remember to draw the media line, remember also to draw a vertical line at the peak of the triangle. I talked about it before. I'm banging on it this time. I'm sticking in your brain big time at the deepest end of your brain so that you do not only know about it, but you know and remember when to use it. All right? Should I program you? I'm sticking it into your brain, and at the same time as I stick it, you always remember it, and you'll know how to use it, and you use it at the right time. Program finished. <laughs> Are we allowed to do that on YouTube? Now, this to make you laugh a bit, okay? So I'm talking to you like a computer now, okay? So you see the vertical. So anytime you draw a triangle, remember the second trick, and the, the peak at the peak of the triangle, draw a vertical line. Usually, sometimes we see a reversal taking place at those vertical points. Those are the two tricks that you must always, in fact you will, because I program you now, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Say, George, I'm afraid of you. I don't watch your video anymore. Don't worry. It's to make you laugh. Come on. All right? Okay? So look at this one. Look at the pink one. So if you've done that, so you'll be watching it, so nothing happens here. So you just leave it there. Something can happen. Something may not. Or you just wait and see. Look at the pink one. Okay? So the pink triangle. Uh, so you have drawn that triangle since... Uh, uh, which, which year, let's say, 2012. By 2012, most traders will have on their chart that pink triangle. And um, 2012, they have the right to draw that vertical line and that a pink line. So they will have them ready. So they, they, those who are aware of it know that usually a reversal will take place somewhere near that vertical line. So you see now the price going up. Okay, it's going up two, two, two. As it's approaching that vertical line, professional traders know that a reversal can take place in that region. I'm not saying that will definitely take place in case uh, you are trying to misinterpret my beautiful Texas accent or in case, all right, <laughs> you are saying that George, I didn't understand it clearly, that's what I understood. Just remember, it can. You may have a reversal, we may not have it. The prior can just come there and then sit there for a while and then run away and say, George, where is that reversal? It's not there. We can't create it. We can't force it, all right? If it's there, it's there. So as the price approaching that zone, we can look for reversal trading setup. The simplest reversal, if a price going down, is what? Common setup at least must be broken, is it? And then we implement a top-down trading method. That's the simplest reversal pattern we can look for. We can look for bearish sharp pattern. We can look for candlestick pattern in that zone for reversal purposes. Here, the simplest one did well. The common trade line was broken. Nice. The trade line that was supporting the prior, the common trade line that was supporting the prior was broken. Look, exactly. Can you see that? Are you looking for precision trading? Look, exactly where the vertical line is the, at the top of the triangle. So you see that I just draw my triangle roughly, roughly. So don't try to be precise and say, oh, normally I should put it there, normally I should put it, just just draw it, okay? I told you the most important part of the triangle is the height, just draw the triangle roughly. 
sometimes it may work, so, but also the vertical line doesn't mean, okay, exactly there is a region, all right, so think of it as a zone, all right, it can happen before, it can happen after, sometimes you see it happen after, all right? so you are just watching it, sometimes it may not happen at all, what are you going to do about that, all right, you see, so those are the two tricks, okay, that can help you to upgrade very fast right, your triangle shot pattern trade. So the first one is what? Connect the peak of the triangle to the media line of the height of the triangle. Right? This, this is what I call it the height, okay? And then draw a line that is infinite. I didn't say finite, I say infinite very long and leave it extended I think um, trading view can allow you to do that okay it making it to go into the future far far into the future okay and leave it there the second trick is what draw a vertical line at the peak of the triangle usually a reversal may may or may not may or may not take place at that level may or may not take place at that vertical line there so if you want to make it very very interesting interesting means complex all right to those who understand it so that's what i meant by interesting if you want to make it more interesting or more complex all right we can do other things do you want to know okay i hear you, you say yes you did say yes okay i can hear you okay all right you see the the, the two the pink one and, and this one all right we can measure the angle between the two i should trade this before so very fast i just draw a vertical line that vertical line between the two the, the pink and the blue all right and we project it on the same on the same vertical line don't go like this don't go the other on the same vertical line straight up like this and then we can draw a line through there okay well what do we do now the intersection the intersection is here of the media line and then we connect it to the top see this is the intersection of the media line the pink is the line and the blue is this is the intersection point yes or no so we connect that projected vertical measuring stick to that point here and we have another trend line is interesting now you'll be amazed what was going on in this market am i the only one seeing it <laughs> other trader can see and look and by doing that simple trick again look here the price is breakable retest breakable retest breakable retest just because we just do simple things in this angle right? sometimes if you do the projection, you may not see anything. And you may say, George, you are, it's just a fancy game, fancy game, nothing. Or you go on a, your 15 minute time frame, you try to do it, and they kick you out. And you say, George, watch this, all right? <laughs> but sometimes it work beautifully, all right? But don't just get excited and say, now I'm a very advanced trader, we are the top, okay? And now you just go all over the place and they kick you out and you say, oh. Okay. And then we can project it again on the same vertical line. Did I say the same vertical line? Not this one, not that one, the same vertical line. And we can draw another line again. You see, it's becoming very, very interesting. At which point we connect it, connect it to the intersection between the two media lines. So, I am an advanced trader. You can say that, okay. You are becoming... An advanced trader. And now you have another line again. What's going on? Oops, hold on, please. Now you see it. What's happening here? So the price was consolidated. Look at this. The price is now consolidating between the green line and that one. How did we get those lines? Just using the media line of those two, two triangles and measuring the angle vertically and projecting it vertically up and up and up. You see, in this case, it was useful. Sometimes it may not be useful, and you may say, "Oh, George, it's very exciting, but it's not working." No, 
sometimes it may work nicely beautifully okay before we wrap it up okay so we can do that okay don't forget we can do that i also told traders that we can make it also interesting with the vertical line you see this vertical line you see that so there is a distance between the two so sometimes we are expecting the, 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 the reversal here or here are in that zone did i say zone yes so now maybe it may not happen at all or there is a, a bigger reversal taking place like we use a Fibonacci time zone, you can just measure the distance between the two. Not only that, all right, you can divide that distance between the two vertical line into two, the midpoint. In training, we use the midpoint uh, all the time. So I'm thinking, using my eye, because it's all about roughly, roughly. Training is not exact, exact, precise. No, no, no. When you are using that word, exact, precise, it means that you have an edge. That's what we mean. When we say precisely, it means you have an edge. You can see something that others are not seeing. But it's not in the proper sense of the word, precisely or accurately, mean that you you are pushing it at the, 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 the extreme end. That's what we are saying. All right. So now, so now we measure the distance between the two vertical lines. We can just project it again. What is stopping you? Oh, is my chart having problems? So we say, project that. So say that distance between the two. Then project it, and that will allow me to place another vertical line there. And people say, why, George, do you have to place another vertical line there? And bluntly, I will just tell them, it's my chart. I can place as many. Then I will do also the midpoint. And then I leave it there. So I'm looking at my chart. And I will say, um, ladies and gentlemen, or I will say to client, I will say to client, I say, client, be careful. All right. By projecting the distance between the two vertical lines using you know, those uh, triangles, Okay, my projection that we are coming into a zone where we are likely to see okay, a reversal. All right. Another reversal may take place where in 2003. And I can project it one more time into the future, just using the distance between these two, or even a half of that distance, doing my own projection. Sometimes you will see that a projection will occur. The projection, as I told earlier with traders, is unnecessary. All right? It's not a magic formula. It's an expectation. And sometimes it works. Like here, it works. Yes or no? Yeah, it works. So if it's working that time, you have an edge. Yes or no? Now that the price is approaching this level, you can see that some people, okay, it come down, it come down. We have spent why here before. And now, look, we are approaching one here. So you want to know the zone where we are likely to see the price coming down a bit. Really happen for Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> let, let, let's put a date on it. Okay. Now, I like Johnson and Johnson. It's difficult to sell Johnson and Johnson because it's a company that pays a lot of dividend. So long term, or right, long term investors, anytime Johnson and Johnson pull back a bit, they are buying it. They have uh, some uh, difficult time recently. But look, the stock didn't go down very much. It just went down, go up, went down, went up. So it's a very, very deep because of the dividend that they pay. So if you are uh, a crazy bearish trader, itching to sell Johnson & Johnson, look for another financial instrument. But for swing trading and day trading purposes, well, all right, you can use, okay, play with it. But to buy it also, well, you can use all these things. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, how to begin upgrading triangle chart pattern trading with uh, two tricks all right if you have any comments suggestion question laments all right complaints please put in a comment session and in due course i will be recording another video to answer your specific question if this video has been truly truly useful to you please give us the thumbs up if you say that, George, I'm not impressed one bit, be sure to mark it down before you go away. 
or I pay attention to the rating with a like or dislike, it helps me to improve my next recording. All right? However, if you think it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share it on the social website. All right? I really appreciate it when traders share our video. It means a lot to me. And if you did share one of our videos before, here it comes. A big thank you. All right? To learn more about uh, uh, chart pattern trading, go to www.stochastic-macd.com. You will learn about uh, uh, head and shoulder chart pattern, inverted head and shoulder chart pattern, cap and handle chart pattern. Go to the home page, home page, place the cursor on the word more on the home page, and you see a very long, very long drop down menu. And you scroll it down until you see those uh, chart pattern web pages. So you can access them in your own time. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is 24 Stock Trader. DG2 24 Stock Trader. Be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we publish the video, we hit publish, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself. And be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders uh, talking about how to begin upgrading triangle chart pattern trading with two simple tricks. Was it simple? Or George, you make it a little bit complicated with uh, all your projection? All right, let me know in the comment section. Happy trading to you all, and I will uh, speak to you soon.